In 2023, for the first time in 10 years, Austin saw a net population decline. Big tech is ghosting downtown Austin. Big names like your Google, like your Meta, got cold feet, leaving more than 6 million square feet of available office space in the Texas capital. Tesla is de-annexing 2,100 acres of its gigafactory land from the city of Austin. And Oracle announced that they are pulling out of Austin after having been there for only four years and moving their corporate headquarters to Nashville, Tennessee. What the heck is going on in Austin? Stick around for this video and we'll examine some of the root causes and also look ahead and see how this is impacting the housing market now and in the future. For the last decade, Austin was one of the fastest growing cities in the entire country. It seemed like everybody, it seemed like every year, multiple major publications listed Austin as the best place to live. The economy was strong, job growth was high, and the cost of living was low compared to other parts of the country. This environment attracted a steady stream of new residents fueling economic expansion and urban development, making Austin a beacon of prosperity and opportunity. But then the COVID pandemic happened and the big boom in Austin took off exponentially. One of the main reasons for this is that the pandemic created work from home options that didn't exist before. For example, a high tech worker living in San Francisco, California, making tons of money far exceeding the median income of Austin, could keep that same job, move to Austin, and could afford to purchase any home that they wanted. Homes in Austin were a fraction of the price of homes in San Francisco, as they still are. So the move became a no-brainer. Also during the pandemic, big companies that I mentioned earlier on, like Tesla and Oracle, moved their corporate headquarters to Austin. You have plenty of jobs. And there were other factors for the boom as well. Things like the ultra low interest rate to borrow money to buy a house and stimulus money dumped into the economy. All of this worked together to create a perfect storm. Somewhere in early 2021, it was almost as if everybody woke up, a switch went off and they decided they were going to move to Austin. This occurred elsewhere as well, but it really was like somebody flipped on a switch. Every available house that was listed for sale sold within a matter of hours or days. I am here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I can tell you that there were lines of people waiting to see homes. Homes had multiple offers, over asking prices, waived inspections, waived appraisals, and it was a fight to the finish. And that was the same dynamic in Austin, but on steroids. And builders, Builders were greedy. The greedy builders were auctioning off homes that were almost completed and homes that were only scheduled to be built. Even available lots were offered to the highest and best offers over the lot premiums. It was completely insane. In Austin, there was no end to the number of people moving there who were willing to pay whatever it took to buy any house, any size, any location, any condition in Austin and in many other places, this all lasted for several years. And by the time it was over, home values had skyrocketed and homes had doubled and in some cases tripled in value in less than two years. And the county tax collector and appraisers agreed with these increased prices and property taxes were reassessed and reassessed through the roof. Now, for those of you who do not know, about Texas. There are no state income taxes in Texas, but property taxes are extremely high. Tax rates in Texas, specifically in Austin, can range anywhere from two to 3% of your property's value. If you're purchasing in a newer suburban area of Austin, taxes can be as high as 3% as someone has to pay for all that infrastructure. So if you buy a new home in what they call a municipal or property development area, you may be paying close to 3% and that's crazy. Million dollar home, $30,000 in taxes. Everybody thought it was going to last forever, but of course everything slowly comes to an end. 
people were getting priced out of the market and are still getting priced out and in a big way. And when the Federal Reserve started raising interest rates, the wild ride in Austin came to a screeching halt. Buyers became very nervous and pulled back. Listings stayed unsold for longer periods of time and there were a lot of price reductions. And some listings were pulled off the market completely because the seller couldn't get what they wanted for their house. They thought their house was worth a lot more than what it would actually sell for. So you have crazy high property taxes and many people who moved to Austin have discovered the extreme heat in Texas, the year round allergies in Texas, the massive tech layoffs, and lots of companies changing their work from home policies. A lot of shuttered startups as well as, well as completely insane traffic. The infrastructure wasn't there when everybody descended on poor little Austin and the traffic got absolutely bananas and home prices have gotten out of hand. It's no wonder why people are running away from Austin. People don't want to continue to pay those higher prices in Austin and they're looking to other places. Now, if you happen to be looking for another place to relocate to, my name is Eli Magas. I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina. If Charlotte's on your potential relocation area and you're looking for a luxury home or a new home construction, feel free to reach out to me by calling or texting. And if you're relocating somewhere else in the country and you are in need of some top-notch professional assistance, let me do the heavy lifting. I have a network of luxury realtors and who you use matters. I will help you get in touch with one of the best in the country. Feel free to reach out to me or call me at any time. Now in Austin, some of the surrounding metro counties, especially Williamson to the north and Hayes to the south, continue to be booming. Although your tax rates are still going to be higher there, people are moving there because the homes are less expensive and you're getting more bang for your buck. And there's new construction there as well. And at this point, builders are giving some incentives to help with the high interest rates. But homes are still not cheap and people are still leaving. Prices are coming down. Let's take a look at some of the stats for Austin market as they are right at this moment. As of this moment, the median sales price of homes in Austin, Texas housing market is $565,000, which is higher than the average in the country. And it is down 5.8% year over year. Now homes on average across the United States have risen 5.8% over the last year. So in Austin, it's definitely not a crash, but definitely a correction. On average, homes in Austin sell after 51 days on the market compared to 42 days last year. In Austin right now, sale to list price is 97.4%, which is down 0.27% from last year. Homes sold above list price is 15.8%. National average is 355 Homes with price drops, you have 37.7% of the homes have price drops. Now, where are people leaving Austin and where are they coming from? Across the United States, only 1% of home buyers, 1% search to move into Austin from outside metro areas. Largest number of people looking to move to Austin area are from San Francisco, Dallas, and LA. And those are the people that typically have some money. And where are people from Austin leaving too? They are leaving to other areas in Texas like San Antonio and Corpus Christi, but they're also headed to Denver, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Asheville, North Carolina, and my sister city, Raleigh, North Carolina. They seem to be the popular areas where people are moving to. Now in the Austin area, homeowners probably think their houses are worth a lot more than they're actually going to sell for. So either they're getting their price or they're pulling them off the market or they're dropping their prices. Buyers continue to be very cautious with the higher interest rates. Almost guaranteed that September will get an interest rate cut. Buying a home is obviously more expensive and homes in Austin aren't selling immediately like they used to. There's a lot more homes that are still available, which means buyers have options. And when I was just looking through Zillow and seeing what you can get for your money in Austin, it doesn't seem like you're getting a ton of value. I see some homes that are 2,000 square feet, 2,500 square feet, even in the suburbs selling for 1.7 million compared to even the Charlotte market, which is also a boom town. That is extraordinarily high. You can get a mansion here in Charlotte for that price. However, you cannot overlook the fact that the population in the surrounding counties is booming 
while the population of Austin is shrinking. People are moving a bit further out from the Austin city limits in order to get something that's a little bit bigger and a little bit more affordable. But remember, the heat and the traffic remain. The two areas of Austin that have the most available inventory right now are your downtown condos and your million dollar plus brand new homes that are built just outside the urban core of Austin. Unfortunately, the demand is not there and there are not enough people who are willing and able to buy those types of homes at the moment. Because of the tech layoffs, the pool of affluent buyers seems to be shrinking and prices will need to adjust accordingly. Again, if you're relocating anywhere in the United States, feel free to reach out to me. I will send you to somebody awesome. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.